All right, good day. So Pisces, I was guided to pull chakras for you. I don't know why. It might be because you guys normally don't get the readings that I got last time. All right, so we're going to pull here from the chakra deck, and we're going to see, and then the positive um, or the self-care tips, because you got some shit going on, Pisces. All right, so let's see what we've got. I mess up just being there. I keep seeing gratitude in your reading. You need to be grateful for something. All right, I don't know exactly what it is, Pisces, but you need to focus on that. I feel like you need to, peace is going to be key here. I don't know peace in what, but you need to just focus on the energy of peace and gratitude. A lot of people don't show gratitude for people, places, and things that appear in their life. We've got the intuition here. All right, so you need to start listening to your intuition. Um, amethyst is a very good stone to carry or wear for that. It's your third eye chakra. God damn. And then we have the spirit guides. Jeez. So your spirit guides are guiding you through your third eye. And Pisces, you guys are, you know, very intuitive beings. So you're probably feeling them. All right. Also kind of can be psychic. So fluorite and amethyst. Wow. This is a powerful reading, no wonder. To get those together, oh my God, and then we have here the smudging with the physical body. You need to smudge your physical body, Pisces. You've got angelic energy, spirits around you here. All right, so the throat and the crown chakra, the physical body which and the smudging. Smudge your root chakra, that physical body, Pisces. So you can balance, all right? Your throat and your heart chakra and the root are key in your third eye, all right? Jesus, ancient Christ. That's powerful energy. So yeah, I don't know how you say that one, but these stones are going to be of significance. We do have the smudging here, all right, with the tourmaline. So give me for the Pisces with this amethyst, this fluorite. Tourmaline and Zinsite, Zinsite, something like that. All right. You are a very intuitive sign. All right, and I don't know why spirit, and my freaking shirt is wrinkled as shit. I need to throw it back in the dryer. My children and my dude do the laundry, so. All right, I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but probably because it's driving me freaking nuts. It did not look this bad until I turned the camera on. Jesus well you hit the jackpot here there's that angelic energy with the temperance showing up in your reading it could be your spirit guides these angels here because the temperance is like an archangel i think it's michael they call it they're guiding you towards your long-term stability here pisces helping you find a middle path the middle ground how to balance and mix things you know it's like taking wine and water so that and like diluting it is what i'm getting all right finding that that balance it's like i don't know i for some reason it's like getting in touch with your mind body and spirit is what i'm getting that's why the smudging is here cleanse your body your physical body all over from head to toe we got here the i don't even remember what card i asked for well, any of them. So the Princess of Wands. All right, so that's like the Page of Wands. I feel like your spirit guides are literally guiding you where you need to be in life here, Pisces. All right, I'm getting the vibe that you need to start exploring your intuition, your third eye. I feel like there's a lot of energetic energy that is starting to come to the surface. I feel like your um, your spirit guides are giving you fresh ideas. All right, it can also speak of an adventure, um, taking action, good news. Give me. All right, so we got the King of Cups here. All right, the King of Cups is a very intuitive. You need Jesus Christ. This energy showing up very, very strong. All right, so you've been really exploring your feelings is what I'm getting here. Trying to get your emotions balanced, controlled, 
because you've got a lot of emotions showing up and that's why you need to do a lot of smudging we got another ace with the ace of wands you need it's time to focus on a lot of um renewal here opening up your heart all right and finding a balance here between your head and your heart and being wise so you got a lot of advisors a lot of energy surrounding you helping you all right very intuitive i feel like you might be struggling with um your feelings damn we have the ten of cups your spirit guides are guiding you to get in touch with your intuition your emotions and to provide you with a lot of like inner happiness and stability here all right i don't know this is this is different i don't usually do readings We've got the fucking star like the six of cups with the sun your spirit guides are helping you heal jesus christ pisces there you are again look at all this water showing up the six of cups the star that's like aquarius but it to me they're the water bearers so it's like water energy kind of ten of cups king of cups knight of cups we saw the ace of cups so the judgment yeah spirit is helping you the moon there you are again pisces between the judgment card all right and then the three of cups princess of cups god damn so there's something going on in your life pisces all right and it's it's time to really start reflecting self-evaluating it's time to start focusing on positive renewal um it could have to do with something from your past life we have the world here going towards your destiny that golden ticket all right and accepting that from your last reading that you guys were to blame because you weren't in tune with your emotions your spirit guides are helping you they're directing you all right they're here to bring positivity they're here to bring happiness cheerfulness and i'm hearing cheers all right when you accomplish this and then with that three of cups i feel like you're gonna be able to celebrate there could be a reunion on the horizon all right with the princess of cups wanting to um offer a cup of emotions uh could be three cups but i feel like yeah you've been keeping a lot of secrets a lot of things hidden here so uh, spirit is inspiring you to do a lot of deep because i saw the hermit a dot a very deep inner reflection here and getting in tune with your emotions your intuition your physical body your spirit guides are here to help you i feel like there's a lot more that has to come out but i've got so many things i got to get done today so the balance here yes it's to balance you out here i don't know if you're yeah you got a lot of things weighing very heavy on you all right so let's get this wrapped up here all right i'm not quite done i did see the emperor the king of pentacles all right let's get this wrapped up for the pisces what is this really all about the queen of cups getting into getting in tune with your emotions growing expanding all right so beautiful things can come in for you being more showing more of that side of you here we got the ten of pentacles all right that's what's going to help I feel like it's to get you prepared for some long term for your life. All right? With the Queen of Cups, it's like tapping into that intuition. All right? Stabilizing your emotions. And, you know, balancing them. Because I feel like you might be suppressing them. Got the hangman here because you've been stuck. Yeah, I feel like you've just been really, really stuck. All right got the two of cups here yeah see and you've been kind of stuck on this here all right this it could be a love but it could just be you joining your higher self spirit could be like preparing you for a union with the two of cups but i'm also getting a lot of spiritual feelings that are starting to flood you and that's what's kind of creeping you out here is what i'm getting pisces god there's more water all right, you've been kind of stuck in a mental trap and that might be why it's time to clear your third eye and why your spirit guides are stepping in and helping you got some heart chakra issues you've been closing it off to other people yourself your loved ones oh, what the hell? all right for the pisces please 
Sync with the moon. Pisces, you represent the moon at times. Take a walk and do some thinking. Your spirit guides will be there with you, surrounding you, helping you. So sync yourself with your energy. And it's that intuitive, emotional energy. You're a sensitive being. Music is going to be key. And then you need to keep yourself grounded and rooted to the earth because you're an intuitive. Hydrate. You're a water sign. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep hydrated. Look at the stars, all right? Look to the stars for answers, your spirit guides, all right? And what I'm getting there, too, is looking into your birth chart so you can really understand your purpose and where you're going to be going, all right? So I'm going to leave that there. I'm sorry. If anything comes later, I will do a reading later, all right? So you guys have a good day.